Yes. is what we are now doing, or striving to do, in Western Union, which is in itself a stepping stone to United Europe. E My Lord Mayor, <coughs> Your Excellencies, my Lords, ladies and gentlemen, among the many honours I have received, I value this occasion as one of the highest. parties are represented here. We are in the Guild Hall, war scarred and venerable, and uh, we are working for a cause cherished by many nations, among which our own is in the van. Why, uh, my Lord Mayor, it uh, almost recalls to me the days when I had uh, myself the duty of leading this country through mortal perils, with similar support, so that she could guard with undaunted heart and with a strong arm the title deeds of mankind. I, uh, I have also associations ancient and modern, with the valiant and steadfast people of the Netherlands. Uh, when I visit The Hague, I am always stirred by thoughts of the memorable comradeship in arms between John Duke of Marlborough and Grand Pensionary Heinsius. And I have among my most treasured possessions the uh, casket containing uh, 700 letters uh, in uh, manuscript, authentic letters, collected uh, from the archives of the Netherlands and presented to me by the Queen and the government of the Netherlands at the uh, victorious conclusion of the war. The Lord Mayor, I... Now, in the 
period of trials of the Second World War and its aftermath, we have found ourselves in alliance and unity with the Netherlands. We were proud to offer to their indomitable queen and government the shelter of our island home during the years of struggle before the British and American armies, aided by Dutch constancy, drove the tyrants and oppressors from their land. Through all the historic struggles against the overlordship of Europe by a single power, we have marched and striven and suffered together, side by side. And now together, in the wider ambit of Western Union, we are resolved to preserve those moral treasures which we saved from what might well have seemed and indeed might well have proved overwhelming brutal force. My Lord Mayor, the, uh, this is uh, to me a most pleasing occasion. The uh, Grotius Medal, which uh, Dr. Capain van der Capel has presented to me, uh, recalls to us the clear, far-seeing message which Grotius proclaimed more than 300 years ago in his great work concerning the law of war. And, and peace. Indeed, I, I think I will run the risk of giving the title uh, in, in Latin. In Latin. Provided, provided you will allow me to pronounce it in the way I was taught at school. <laughs> uh, his, his great work uh, entitled D. Jury. Belli ac pacis. <laughs> uh, in which uh, he outlined the code which entitled. Lord Cecil, are you ready? There is to be a Parliament of Europe which without claiming executive power will nevertheless present the conception of United Europe in a concrete and definite form. That is a great event. Now, this very month of February, in Brussels, we shall plead for another forward step in what has been called the grand design. There must be a European Supreme Court uh, to which breaches of the Declaration of Human Rights so valiantly, so majestically proclaimed at Geneva by the governments of so many powers, great and small, there must be a Supreme Court to which breaches of that Declaration can be referred and by which those human rights may be proclaimed and defended. These are up and sustained uh, by a rising tide of conscious, educated public opinion by which the responsible executive governments will both be aided, stimulated and sustained uh, to uh, a military system where there was nothing between the supreme headquarters and uh, the commanders of all the different brigades and battalions <coughs> all invited to express their views on all occasions. Uh, such a method would lead to chaos only to defeat. And therefore I believe that the creation of regional organisms is an indispensable part of any structure of world security worthy of the name. 